Normally, I don't talk to people. I don't drop a thing per se. But yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're different. I can feel it. Doors 
Time to be a bit tricky for me. I never know where to grab, how to proceed. Sometimes you have to take a step back to pull out. So, do I keep my distance from the beginning? And then, what if I must change the direction and walk out? What if I stop too far to read it or too far to properly push it? Um, um, there's doors you have to slide to the side. Um, doors that look like one thing when they're really another. Doors that seem to move differently for every person. Sometimes there's an knob that's one or a handle to push. Sometimes there is neither. Sometimes there's a bar. Or a button, or a swatch, hidden away somewhere. A secret mechanism that only those on the know can trigger. Some doors are heavy. Some are light. How much pressure do I use? And when? Does the heavy door turn out to be a locked one? Is there a difference? Technically, any door can be opened with enough force. Call that. So, do I burst through? Or would that be considered? Hurt. And leaving up a door is gonna be a struggle. I never know whether to close them behind me or leave them as they are. I'm scared to lose that again before I can enter. They might be tricking me. And if a door closes out, do I try to open it again? Do I search for another door? Oh, on the wall. Do I leave? Do I wait? They are. But you, you were kind enough to leave a window wide open so that I could squeeze through without having to worry. A safe way to enter. No knob to turn or jiggle. Nothing to push or pull. No need to be weary. You let me in. So early. You have already embraced my present. My present. My present. You're aware of me. You're gonna hear me. Feel me. I know you can. Without that, it's so easy to forget myself. To forget I'm actually there. But no. Right 
You're just a shell, making your way through a never-changing, monotonous daily routine. A black hole following all light around it. Or simply a crack doll that has lost a piece of itself. Too precious. To throw away, to broken to fix. We're not so different, Yana. I know it. I can feel it. That hollowness. Lingering within you, mirroring mine. And all my years of searching, I know, I know I would find you eventually. I almost gave up. Deep, deep within me, I always kept that spark of hope, tended to it like a delicate flower, fielded it from the cold darkness of the world, oh, it wasn't always easy, to be honest. To keep something alive in a world that wants to say a dead more than anything. But I persevered. I persevered. The fact of finding myself again, how oh, it would feel to finally be complete once more. It kept me going. It kept me alive. Mm-hmm. It's been such a long time. But here you are. Finally. It almost feels like our hearts are 
my friend has one. Doesn't have to. I haven't had a heart beat in so long. But now, now, I can send it again. That's love. Steady motion on my channel. Remember, I'm not dead. That I'm still alive. Not yet forgotten. <sighs> In my time of searching, I've almost lost myself entirely. I've lost my face and sense of my own identity and I so desperately want to know what I look like but I'm scared <laughs> scared of what you might say I fear that I'll be perceived as something different than I actually am. Is that why people are scared of me? Because they say something I'm not. Because they judge me in their interpretation of what I might be. Where they see a reflection of themselves within me. Huh. Or maybe, maybe they're right. Maybe I'm so out of touch with myself. Maybe that I've become something horrible. Terrifying creature that haunts the living. A horror of the night. Creeping through the shadows. I'd like to think I'm more than that. But I'll never know for sure. Since I refuse to show myself. <laughs> My endless scarring. I don't know what I dread more. The echo. Or the amp. And I can't help but wonder. Can one even exist? Perhaps I'm just a fragment of my own imagination. I could just be talking to myself. Since you haven't even acknowledged my existence. Well, what does it mean to be real? How do we discern between a daydream and a memory? Between hallucinations and the physical realm. Who are we to decide what we deem real or imaginary? And who is to say that I'm not simply a voice you made up? A story that was created by a lonely mind to keep itself entertained. Either way, it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm here all the same. And I'd like to believe the way I feel.
fail and frail. Why my heart is beating real disconnection between us. I would like to believe it's more than just a game of make-believe. Even if we weren't, does it change anything? Anything at all? Would it make us any Would our experience matter any Our memory? Our story? What would you do if anything was possible? Would you change anything? Everything. Who would you be? I thought about this question for a while, but I don't even know who I am. I don't know who I'd like to be, what I'd like to be, maybe, maybe I can finally change now, when you see me, feel me, acknowledge me, maybe even give me a name, Purpose. Uh, I like that. But not yet. Not yet. No. No. Not yet. I can't let you see me yet. I'm not ready. Not ready to face myself. To reveal myself. The world. The world. To you. Oh, I want to. And one day, I will. I can't believe I made it this far. Many creatures dream of this moment for all of their lives. Only to perish in the process. For a long time, I feared I would be one of them. Just another washed out face, and a crowd of nothingness. Are you familiar with that feeling? The worry of losing yourself in mediocrity, being drowned out by your sorrow only to fade without your life having mattered the fear of being alone for the rest of your mortal day dying without meaning are you scared to be left behind be forgotten by the world, to lay without an impact. <sighs> I'm terrified of my loneliness, so I kept searching like a trap mouth, clawing away at the wood with only the faintest silver of hope to escape, to be free again, stuck, trapped on my own self, and lost in a world that does not understand.
the hump, nor care. Oh, allow things of change now. For once, that's different. Like the shades of color are slowly returning to a world of gray. Well, yeah. 